Uh, that's gonna miss. I went through that, but it, I didn't beat the record, so you got to actually get no wizard card for you. Exactly. Potter. You didn't beat the record. You need to actually get over the record. You can't just get on the. Although you didn't beat the record last time, Harry. How about another go? It'll cost five beans. Yeah, if you don't beat the record, then you can get more chances, but it means you just waste beans. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'll just stand here. Oh, for that was pathetic! Fucks! I have to get it through that yellow ring, otherwise I'm fail. I think after this I'll give up. Come on, target this shitty thing. This is the thing I've never been good at name throwing. And that is another epic fail. Wrong direction. I completely no, miss the regs each time, you, which shows how you pathetic I am at noon throwing. I'll probably do this when I'm not recording because I don't feel they need to waste my time doing this. So, Quidditch match, I think. I'll do the gnome throwing nonsense when I'm not recording because it'll be easier. And you don't need to see me wasting hours of footage on nonsense like that. I've, the first one is simple, it's just like three stand, standing rings, which should be too difficult to miss, but you can. And after a while it becomes moving rings, so the one moves around, which allows you to actually get... Which allows you to get double score, which means the record goes higher. But then the rings movement speed up, so then you go like epically fast. I think in this city we'll do the night mission too. Ow! Harry! No, I made drones shut up. You didn't even see anything. Okay, quite a trash time. And this is really simple. You just need to catch a snitch and you win. And apparently Gryffindor's team is shite. Because they score fuck all in this game. The only way that they win is actually by high catching the bloody snitch. You can lose Quidditch matches. You don't get Quidditch armor and you don't die in Quidditch matches. But Jeeves completely really pointless. And basically it's the same as normal Quidditch practice, but the fact there's a score meter, that's it. And there's nobody here. Just demonstrated by that in the crowd there's nothing there. I'm sure everyone's been looking forward to this match. I know I have. Uh, Lee is completely pointless in this game. Whoa, 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 always get hit by the couple pumps. At least I'm trying here. Whoa! I'm just trying to get through as many rings as possible before boosting. Oh shut up you shitty bastard. Oh for fuck's sake explosion of noise I'm losing control. Looking if you keep flying through the rings you'll actually... Whoa oh my god! <laughs> he just boosted so fast he went skidding out of control. Most of the time you'll have to do two boosts. It's not possible to keep up a running length. Of Oh, for fuck's sake! Whoa, I've been beaten up to a halt here. For fuck's sake, stop! Hey! Get out of my fucking way! This is not fair, I'm losing in a match! Yeah, I've boosted. Okay, match over. Who's the winner? Obviously, me. Obviously. Yeah, if you lose a Quidditch match, you have to do it all over again until you win. You can't progress, but then you won't win the Quidditch Cup, so... Yeah. 
So, 160 to 10 for Gryffindor. And a parallel simultaneous match happens at the very same time that you don't see. 200 to 40 for Slytherin. They win, of course. They win at every little shitty thing. That only took four minutes or less. So, yeah. After the Quidditch match, you can end day. So, every day is lesson, Quidditch match, bed. In the space of about three hours. Not in the space of an hour. I'm going to save my game in a minute. Well played, Harry. I suppose you're worn out after Ron that. Ron doesn't move his I lips am. whatsoever. I'm going to bed. So he fucks off. And Harry just stands there looking like an idiot and maybe even more of a child. Right, before we continue, we're going to save. Because I know what this game's like. It glitches a lot. I've noticed that if I record for way too long, um, it glitches in the loaded screen jams, which is like exactly what happened in the last section. How many points did we get in any case? You get a number of points that you're not told about whatsoever. 40 points, we got 295. Uh, okay, up to dormitory, I think. Oh, for fuck's sake. This will give us 305 points, I suppose. Actually, no. Let's disembark here, because I'm just going to let go of it. I'm not going up and down the, the thingy to get wizard cards at all. Okay, end the day. If I can find a fucking tasks menu, that is. Oh well. Been recorded for 36 minutes and 42 seconds according to Pinnacle. It hasn't crashed once on Windows 7, which shows how inc actually compatible it is. It wasn't even made for Windows 7 because it was released back in 2007 or something. The so we were, it was like Windows Vista compatible. It actually works completely fine on Windows 7 <laughs> without too much of a glitch. You need a really good processor though to use it. What? 290 <laughs> fucking nine? No, oh, that is unfair. The last two times we've done this, we've actually been <laughs> a couple. Uh, Sliver had been in the lead by just like a couple of points, which is not really fair, but tough luck. Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw never <laughs> win. So screw them. Even though they're like epic houses. 295. I should have went up to the dormitory and would have been in the lead again. Slytherin By the end of the game you should be in the lead. But I'll show you a glitch in the game which allows you to get multiple house points. So grade B. So night time mission everyone and Hi still can't get to sleep so he has to wake up in the middle of the night for a, a drink of pumpkin juice I think. But there's nobody like, no there's nobody else in his caught his dormitory. So why? I think I would think it's a crime to be actually in your common room. So I don't know why the prefects would say, "Go back to your house, t go back to the tower," instead of going get back to your dormitory because you don't have to be in your dormitory to sleep. I mean, you can sleep on the floor. Oh, plot You're twist! You're not going to believe this, Harry. Hermione wants you to meet her in the girls' bathroom on the second floor. She says she's got a plan to find out who the heir of Slytherin is. Really? <laughs> yes. Now hurry up. Girls' bathroom, second floor. Isn't that supposed to be haunted? <laughs> yeah, I've got to go to the girls' fucking bathroom. So why have I got my broom equipped we can't even fly inside? Now before we go anywhere, I am going to go to Freddie George's shop to buy a potion vial. I know it seems a little stupid what we are, but we're going to get a wizard card and a potion vial. Thanks and we're also going to get five uh, ten house points I really from someone who's it. not even Neville. That's Have three times card. we've seen somebody called Neville who isn't actually Neville at all. That's just some black person. Fifty cards, so we're halfway through the card scheme. 
measuring scales. So this is where the notice board items start now with Hagrid stealing everything. And if you've not noticed, if you notice in the previous bits where I've opened doors, Harry's been like miles away from the door, but for no reason he's like right next to the side wall near the door handle. I don't even know why. I think that's a game glitch on this specific night mission. But we're also going to get two potion vials. No, I'm not kidding. Two potion vials. Hey! Well, we can avoid Percy's stupid spell. Where did the power of Expelliarmus to avoid being caught. Now we're going to get multiple cards here and the balloon holster. Right, potion vial How first. How is this Wigan well potion vial? 100 Bertie Bot 70 flavour beans is a bit ridiculous, but tough shit. Smart move, Harry. Now you can carry even more Wigan well potions. Which allows you to be killed five, three holster. times. Which is helpful. With the balloon holster, you can carry loads more non. The arch Archibald ah, Alderton. Archibald Alderton. Now there's a man. How much is it? Edgar Strulger, eh, Harry? Inventor of the sneaker scope. There what are two wizard cards in the back room here. What's this one? How much is this? This one is just a complete. That one is a completely random one. Thirty, thirty bots, every flavor beans. And this Nish one is. Beatrix Bloxham card. How much is it? Thirty, thirty bots, every flavor beans. Um, bot. That one is Beatrix Bloxham. That one there is a completely random wizard card. So there's only two more wizard cards we need to buy from this shop. And they're run right. If you need to build, if you want, like to get all as many luminous balloons and stink pellets as you can, and uh, you can do so because those items will still be here. But we've basically ransacked Fred and George's shop now of everything and used up all our beans. So we're gonna go back to the confiscated items store hey, later. Hey, Just go to attack Percy. Ow. Ow. Locomotor Mortis! Time to go to the girls' bathroom, I think. But now we've got another Wigan. You give it. You have. There's one you have to buy. But later on, when you die, end up going to epically long boss battles and dying a lot, you need more Wigan well potion. There's that one in Freddy George's shop which costs a hundred Bertie Bots every flavour beans. And then there's one right next to the staff room door in the entrance hall which is Alhamora to unlock. So you basically need a hundred beans each time. Okay, down the portrait hall we go then. I'm not using the secret passage. Hey, you! What was that? Locomotive Mortis! Oh, come on, hit Ow! Ow! What was that? Locomotive Mortis! Ow! Uh, hey, you! Locomotive Mortis! Ow! Hey, you! Locomotive Mortis! Ow! What was that? Locomotive Mortis! I hate it when they said spells that you can't see them. Where did he go? That's what you call invisible leg locker curses. And I had to really kind of repeat what that prefect was saying just for the sake of it. <laughs> I like doing that, so yeah. Now for no reason the library is locked tonight. I don't know why, they must have figured out somebody was stealing books. Or that you just don't need to go in there anymore. So this is the only night mission where the, the library is actually locked. So now I need to go down to... That ghost drifts up there for no reason. Instead of wasting time, I'm just going to go down here. I'm just going to get down here, but before we do, we are going to go in here. 